In this story, faith turns into biology, a tale presented as science yet grounded in myth, illustrating the capacity of the human mind to transform imagination into reality. Sometimes it helps, and sometimes it hurts. It starts with a man who has been sentenced to death and is about to die. They were given the choice between being put to death in an electric chair or taking part in a scientific experiment. The scientist said there would be no pain or violence, just a peaceful end. A small cut on the wrist would make the man fall asleep, and his life would slowly fade away. He agreed, thankful to avoid the chair. He was tied to a table. He couldn't see because his eyes were covered. A shallow cut touched his skin, just enough to make him feel real. Next to him, a hidden device started to drip liquid into a bowl one drop at a time. The sound bounced around the room. He thought that his blood was leaving his body. Every drop brought you one heartbeat closer to death. Minutes went by. His breathing got slower. His heart rate slowed down. The sound of the water dripping became the sound of his fear. And when the last drop fell, his heart stopped. He thought he had bled to death when he died. The story says that this experiment showed that the mind can kill by itself and that belief can beat biology. But the truth is simpler. There is no record, no scientist, and no proof. It never took place. It's a story that people have told for years and years. But there is something real behind the myth, the nocebo effect, the evil twin of the placebo effect. The body acts like the harm is real when we think it will happen. Fear sends stress hormones all over the body. The heart beats faster. Blood vessels get tighter. In extreme cases, the body can stop working because of the weight of its own belief. So the story, even though it's not true, points to a truth. Our biology can be changed by our thoughts. Anxiety can make us weaker. Calmness can help us get better. Fear can make us sick. But trust, faith, and peace can make us stronger. What the mind decides to believe makes the difference. This isn't about a prisoner or a fake scientist. It's about us. Our beliefs determine how we react to life, pain, and fear on a daily basis. The mind can either protect or destroy. What we believe doesn't just change how we think, it also changes how we live and, in some cases, whether we live. It is just a strong reminder of how belief can change how people see things, for better or for worse. 